Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In previous video, I have shown you how to design a backend code for this decrease button. Here you can see this. When I click on this, I can decrease the any uh, quantity of the any blood group. So if you have not watched my previous video, just go to description. There I have put the link. Or you can just simply click on the suggestion on the right side of your screen. Okay. So in this video, I am going to show you how to design this detail form here you can see this and this you can check all the quantity you cannot update cannot increase or decrease the value you can simply print the value or you can just see and close the value so I'm going to show you this so let me just close this and move back to our uh, project which is nothing but blood bank video so first thing we need a form so right click on this click on add windows form and I'm going to name this stock you can write anything just click on add and this will add a new form so first thing I'm going to set the size of this form same as this one so right click on this go to properties and size is 704 and 511 so let me set that and let me remove the border from this form form border style from size able to none let me set the background image for this Search for image. Background image. Click on this. Local resource. Click on import. Open. OK. Change this background image layout from tile to stretch. And after this, we have to add few stuff. That is nothing but label. Drag and drop this over here. Change the text of this one to stock. Details. Hit enter. You have to change few stuff. First thing I want to remove the back color that is controller. Select this one. Select web and transparent. After this we have to increase the font size. Click on this. And you have to select Fusion, Bold, and size is 20. Hit OK. And move it like this. And let me change few border style for this one. So change the border style for this label. Fixed 3D. So now you can see this. It's looking nice. After this, we have to add one line shaper. Just drag and drop this change the color of this one border color select custom and this one and I need one more so copy and paste it select this copy and paste to replicate like this I need one data grid view data grid view just drag and drop it over here and let me just stretch this and I need few buttons copy and paste to replicate We have to change the properties of these buttons as well. So let me move this little bit down see. So change this one to print. Change the text line from middle center to middle right. Move back to the top and we have to change few more properties that is back color from controller to select web and transparent. And after this, what we have to do is we have to change few stuff that is flat style from standard to pop up. Change the font. Click on this. Bold and 10. Hit enter. Select image. Click on this. Local resources. Import. I have already told you that I have provided the link for image 
and all the icons I'm using in the description. Just go and check that out and download it. Now here you can see this, now it's looking nice. The same way we have to do for the second button that is close. Change the text from this. So guys, if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, then please subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you get updated with our new content and new videos. And if you need the source code, just subscribe and comment your email ID in the comment section. So change this text line from middle center to middle right and after this move back to the top. Back below, just click on this web transparent and after this, what we have to do is change this slide slide from standard to pop up. Click on this font. Select bold and 10, hit OK. Select this image, click on this. Local resources, click on import. Hit OK, change the image line from middle center to middle left and make this button a little bit large. Now let me change the name of these buttons. So design name, that is name. Change this one to PTN rent. And this one to PTN close. Now what I want is when this uh, form load, this detected will need to be filled with the data. Before that, we have to connect this form with the, our dashboard. For that, just let me move to the dashboard. So select this dashboard, double click on this. And here we have this detail, just double click on this. This will generate a click event for the stock. And we have to create the object of stock. The stock sk equals new stock sk dot show. Now just start this project and let's see that it pops up or not. Now here you can see this when I click on this, now stock detail is here. But you can observe this is not in the center. So we want this in the center of the screen. So how to do that? For that, okay, so we have not coded for this close button. That's why this form, we cannot close this form. So we have to directly close this application. And let me close this dashboard because we don't need it now. So for the center of the screen, just go to properties of this form and change the start position to center screen. And after this, what we have to do is we have to change the name of this button as well. So this is button close and we have to code on this double click on this and this dot close this is start this and see if that appears in the center of the screen or not yeah here you can see this now it's in the center of the screen and now i can close this and now what we want is when i click on this this form needs to be filled with the data this data grid view so i'm going to code for that just move back over here. We have to generate a load event for this form. Just double click on this empty space. And after this, we have to write a query. And before writing query, we have to actually make an object of the function class. Function fn equals new function. In the previous videos, I have already explained you how to make a class. That is, I have written that class a function, then given a name that class is function and in that function I have defined two method that is get data and set data I'm going to use that okay so I'm going to use that get data and I'm going to write one query making a variable of a string type so that I can use it multiple times so I'm going to write the query so here what we need is we need all the data okay so I'm going to write this select start from sorry I don't need the ID okay let me just take the ID for this time select start from stock and now we have to pass this into the get data value so that get data method actually return a data set so we have to store that into a data set object so data set ds is equals fn this object here you can see this fn i have created this fn dot get data and in this we have to pass this query and now this will reward the data we uh, asked for 
Here you can see this. Now we have to set that data into the data grid view. So data grid view one dot data source equals ds dot tables and zero table. Now start this and see if it work or not. Details. When I click on this, here you can see this. Now we have the ID, blood group, and as well as quantity. But here you can see this. This is not a stretch. I want this to be loaded in this view. So how to do that? For that, just go to the design and click on this. Go to properties, and we have to change one style. That is column size. Okay. Let me just search for that. Here we see this allow user to order columns false. Okay, so it's not here we see this auto size columns mode. Change this one to fill. Now start this. And here you can see this when I click on the detail, now it's filled with the data in a stretch way. So now the, the task is done. We have left with the sprint button. So in the previous video, I've already explained you how to code for this sprint. First thing we have to do is we have to drag and drop one stop that is print document just drag and drop it over here here you can see this just double click on this and here we have to copy few lines of code from the previous code just copy this and paste it over here or you can simply pause the video and write this line of stop make sure this data grid view one is your data grid view name same okay after this we have to write just double click on this this will generate a button click event and after this you have to write this print document one dot print that's it now start this and let's see if it work or not click on this and here comes this where i click on this it start printing one document so i'm going to cancel that so not to worry about that so you can see this now everything is working so that's it for this video guys if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, then please subscribe and hit the bell icon and please share with your friends. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how to design this delete donor, how to design for this delete donor and how to back and code for that. That will be the last video of our, uh, this project. Thanks.